Hello everyone, welcome to today's webinar, a step-by-step -step guide to efficient hearing management and uh, report customization. Let me first of all introduce myself. So I'm Elise Khoure, the training manager here at the lecture. Thank you for taking time out and being here today. We'll be running a live q and at the end of the webinar. So uh, you can ask all your questions. And if you miss anything, don't worry, we'll be sending around the on-demand recording when it's available. Let me share my screen first. So in this webinar, we will provide a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to streamline hearing management process and enhance your skills in report customization. So basically, uh, it aims to empower participants with the knowledge and tools needed for seamless workflow and tailored reporting. So uh, in the webinar, we will cover the management of the hearing, how you can uh, add a new hearing. Uh, 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 later on, if you'd like to add the hearing information, let's say if the uh, hearing was postponed to a next date and time, judged, you'd like to add the summary by lawyer, how this can be done using the system, the ability to generate uh, a, a hearing report related to your client, based on predefined templates and send it directly using uh, uh, the uh, platform. Ability to access the hearing from your calendar uh, uh, as well. Access all the hearings with specific uh, filters. If you'd like to filter by uh, hearings related to a specific uh, uh, assignee, specific client, specific case, by specific date, so you can do so automatically from the system and also the ability to generate some reports related to the hearing. Let, let us first of all start by creating a new hearing. So this can be added either from the create button. So whenever you uh, have a new hearing, this can be added from the create button. Click on the hearing and you have some mandatory field when adding a new hearing. So first of all, you should select the case name, the case ID, or the client name. So to which uh, a case this hearing is related. So let's say it's related to a hearing, uh, uh, to a uh, case called BLP versus ABC services. So as mentioned, you can search by the uh, matter or the case ID, the client name or the matter uh, 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 name itself. As you can see here, the stage will appear automatically where I can access all the stage details if needed by just clicking on the uh, icon near to the stage name, first instance code. And if there's different stages related to the same case, you have the option to select uh, if you'd like to add the hearing to the first instance code in our case or another. So you can select. Then you, you should specify the hearing type. And this field is customizable. So if this is, let's say, an online hearing, an expert hearing, uh, uh, hearing in presence, and so on and so forth. And as mentioned, this is a customizable uh, list where if you'd like to add more hearing types, you just need to click on the plus sign here and specify the hearing type that should be added if it's not existing in your list. So let's say this is a, a hearing in presence as an example. I should specify here the uh, date of the hearing, let's say uh, Friday on the specific date, uh, as you can see here, and the time as well. So I can specify the time and I can assign the hearing to a specific assignee user. So as you can see here, it's assigned to Carolina and I can assign it to myself as well by just clicking on the assign to me hyperlink, as you can see here. If you'd like to assign it to more users, you just need to search here in the, on the specific field. Also, you can upload or attach any file related to the hearing. So I can drag and drop any file or browse from my computer as well. And from the content and summary, uh, comments and summary, sorry, I'll have the option to add any comment related to the next hearing, as an example, uh, uh, important development with the ability to add a timestamp, and now I can press on save. So as mentioned, you have some mandatory field, the name, 
the hearing date and time, and you can press on save. You don't need to add all these information. So it's up to you to specify the information needed that can that should be added uh, whenever you'd like to add a new hearing. So this is the first way to add a hearing into the system. And whenever now I click on save, a new hearing has been added, a new uh, reminder has added successfully to my system. So related to the hearing itself and related to the assignee user, and I can access the hearing automatically from my calendar. So if I click now on my calendar, which is embedded inside the system, I'll be able to check all the hearings if there is any hearing scheduled for today. And uh, as you can see here, I have a hearing already scheduled for today. With all the related information, I can access it automatically from there. If there's any other hearings for different uh, uh, dates, as you can see here, it will appear in my calendar as well. With all the related information. Because I have access, I'm the admin here in the system, I can access all the calendars related to all the users, as you can see. Other than that, if you'd like also, you can create the hearing from inside the case itself. So if I am click on the matters and click on the litigation cases, as you can see here, I can access all the litigation cases in my system, and if you'd like to uh, access all the details related to the case itself. You just need to click on the ID or the name of the case, which is in our example here, BLP versus ABC services. The practice area is commercial. I can access the workflow status related to the case in which stage it's, uh, uh, um, as you can see here, it's in the first instance court, uh, client name, the opponent, any other information. And I have a tab for the stages and activities where I can access all the stages related to the specific case. So it's in the first instance court where I can access the court type if it's already added to my system, the region, the uh, client name, uh, court uh, details, and so on and so forth. And if there's any hearing related to the specific stage, it will appear automatically under the hearings section. As you can see here, this is the one already added now. Also, I can add the hearing by just clicking on the add new hearing hyperlink from inside the case itself or from the actions button. So from the actions button, you can add the new hearing and the case name will appear automatically and same information uh, uh, is required here. You just need to specify the hearing date and time. If you'd like to add an assignee as well, any other information, and then press on save. So whenever you add the hearing, automatically in the system, in the common section, we have an automatic reminder added for, of course, for the users assigned for the specific hearing uh, to remind them on the specific hearing. Uh, uh. As you can see here, this is the remind on date and time for Carolina and for James. And I can, from the three dots as well, view added the specific reminder so it's related as you can see here to the hearing itself this is the remind on date uh, uh, and time i should get notified before five days and i can specify here let's say i would like to get notified before one day by reminder pop-up and email as you can see here before one week it's up to you and if you'd like to repeat the same uh, a reminder daily until the specific until a specific date. So it's up to you here for the reminders. As you can see here, you can specify in the reminder the user to remind. This is the summary for the hearing for the reminder itself, and it's related to the hearing as you can see. If you'd like, so this is a system reminder automatically inserted inside the system. But also you have the option to create different reminders related to the hearing as well, manual reminders if needed. And this can be created automatically from the add new hearing or from the create button. So any data that should be added to your system can be added from the create button uh, uh, as well. As you can see here, you can create a reminder, specify all the uh, uh, mandatory fields, the summary, the user to remind, the remind on date and time, 
if it's related to a specific case or matter and just uh, save the reminder itself. So now, whenever you add any uh, uh, hearing to the system, so it will appear, of course, under the case itself, under the stage itself. So this is the hearing and I can add the hearing by just clicking on the date of the hearing or from the three dots, I can view added the specific hearing. So this is the first way to access the hearing details. You can also access the hearings from the hearing script. So by just clicking here on the matters, click on the hearings, you'll be able to access all your hearings, of course, in the system. These are all my hearings with the, with the date, with all the related information, the, the, the case name, uh, court name if applicable, important development, and so on and so forth. So anything related to the case already inputted, so it will appear in the hearing grid. Where from inside the same uh, page, I'll have the option to access, If I, of course, if I have uh, permission to do so, I can access, let's say here, all the hearings for all the users in the system. As you can see here, I can sort. So if you'd like to so sort by dates, you can do so. So this is the first hearing for Friday, which is related to BLP versus ABC services. You have the option as well to filter by specific hearing date, by type. So if you'd like, let's say, to access only the hearings, uh, uh, expert hearing as an example, or the online hearing and so on and so forth. Filter by specific assignee user. Let's say would like to access all the hearings related only to Carolina as an example. So I can apply this filter. As you can see here, these are all the filters, uh, all the hearings related to the assignee, which is in our case, Carolina. I can as well uh, um, specify uh, um, from the columns here, which column me as a user wants to appear on my grid. So if it's not important for you, for you to have or to, uh, um, to include the external court reference number as an example. So you can choose the columns that should appear on your grid. Let's say you would like to uh, remove the uh, summary by lawyer as an example, or I would like to add the client name or the related matter and so on and so forth. So you can include the columns that should appear on your grid. Also from the same page, if you'd like, uh, uh, you already um, go to the, you, you have a hearing uh, related to you and you'd like to update its information. So if it's the judged, if it's postponed until a next date and time, if you'd like to uh, input the summary by lawyer, so this can be done automatically from the same page as well. So by just clicking here on the hearing date or on the three dots, as you can see here, added, I'll be redirected to the added hearing page where I have some additional fields here. I can, if it's judged, as you can see here, I can click on the show more and specify the stage status. So I'd say it's judged or it's under decision, the judgment date, as you can see here, and the value of applicable and the judgment itself. If it's judged, so as mentioned before, you just need to click on the show more near to the judged uh, question. If it's postponed to a next date and time, you can from the postponed date, as you can see here, specify the postponed date and time, as you can see here, let's say, this is the due date and time. And if you'd like to add a new hearing with the postponed date and time, and to include the reasons of postponement. So this can be included as well and on the specific field. You have as well in the comments and summary, a field for the comments, if you'd like to include your comments. If you'd like to add the summary by lawyer, so you have a field for the summary by lawyer where you have you also have a field for the summary to the client that should be sent to your client. So you can include the summary by lawyer. So 
all the summary, of course, and then copy from the summary by lawyer inside the summary to client if needed. And if there is some, someone from your team, the admin, to verify the summary before sending it to your client, so you can enable this feature in the application. As you can see, also you can access the important development with the ability to add a timestamp every time you have an important development related to the specific field. So now I added the postpone until uh, date and time. If you'd like to add the reasons of postponement, any update, and then whenever I click on save, a new hearing will be added and you a reminder uh, related to the postpone until uh, hearing. To the new hearing, of course, uh, in the system. And it will appear under the case itself as well. Also, I can, from the three dots, as you can see here, I can view the hearing in the calendar. I can clone the same hearing. So if you'd like to clone the same details, you can do so. You can also export to Word if you'd like to generate a report related to the specific hearing. You can export to Word, and this is the report related to the specific hearing, as you can see here, including the case details, the matter name, the, the client uh, position, the uh, opponent position, anything already inputted in your system, it will appear inside the report itself. With the hearing data as well, the, the, the type, date, uh, time, uh, assignee, and so on. Other than that, you have the option also from the three dots to, to set a judgment for the specific hearing. So it will redirect you automatically to that set judgment page where you can include the judgment date, the value if applicable, and the judgment uh, itself. From the same page also, I can I have a field here called summary by lawyer. Instead of clicking on the edit and then uh, um, or opening the, uh, the the case itself or clicking on the three dots and then click on edit, I can automatically from there click on the icon and enter the summary by lawyer automatically from there. So this is related to the hearing grid where you can filter by specific. Uh, 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 filters if needed and all uh, whenever you filter let's say by specific assignee by specific date and so on and so forth you can later on export the list to excel if needed and if you'd like to add a hearing this can be as well added from the add hearing button available also uh, on the hearing grid other than that from the same case if you click on the case, you'll be redirected, as you can see here, to the case details, to the general information. And from the stages and activities, I have the option from inside the hearing itself. So let's say here, this hearing, uh, uh, I would like to generate a report and send it to my client automatically from the system. So this is an option already existing there, where you can, from the three dots, generate a report, of course, based on predefined templates. So you can create your own templates. I can show you from where you can create your templates and then specify the template that you'd like to use. And as you can see here, the data will be inputted automatically uh, uh, inside the template itself, if it's already, of course, inserted in the system where I can add more uh, details, as you can see here, and I can download the report or send it directly to my client from the system. So whenever I click on the send the report to the client, it will redirect me automatically to the send the report to client page. The email of the client, if it's included in the, e in the details of the company or the person details, it will be automatically inserted there. I can include uh, some uh, users to uh, in the CC, as you can see here, some emails, and I can add the message. Let's say, dear Jim, attached
So also in the attachment, the attachments that the, the template itself or the hearing report itself is included where I can view it, as you can see here, this is the, the template created in my instance and the data is automatically added. And I can now send the report directly to my client. Automatically in the system, if, if the report is uh, sent to the client, as you can see here in the icon, it will appear that this hearing was sent to the client one time, automatically in the system. So for the templates, if you'd like to create some templates in your system, you can do so from the uh, by just clicking here on the more from the iDocs module. So if I click now on the iDocs, I'll be redirected to a page where I can store all the documents related to my organization. So you can include all, let's say, contract templates, any uh, uh, document related to your organization, which is not related to a specific case or matter or country. So I created a folder here called hearing templates, where I inputted all the uh, templates in my system. Of course, you can upload your own template, but make sure, of course, to include the variables in your template. I will show you an example. So here in the client template, I included my logo. Uh, um, as you can see here, it's a table where I added some variables that should be, uh, whenever I, I, I add a uh, hearing with all the details, it will be inputted the variables automatically into the report itself. All these variables can be accessible from inside the case itself. So from the stages and activities from inside the hearing, whenever you click on the three dots and then generate report, you'll have the option from the eye icon to access all the uh, variables that the system accepts. And this should be, of course, available in your template. Not all, not all of these, the, the ones that you, you, you want to uh, add them, uh, of course. So you should create the template, add it to the iDocs module, and then it will appear automatically whenever you create the variables, it will appear automatically in the templates related to the report. This is how you can generate a hearing report and send it directly to your client based on predefined template. Other than that, you have the option in the system to generate some reports related to the hearing, some internal reports. And this can be uh, generated from the reports uh, module. So whenever I click on the all reports, of course I have the reports related to the companies, to the persons, to all the models available in the system. And I have specific reports related to the hearings, where first of all, I can generate the, the hearing role session, where I can, of course, let me reset the filter here, where I can access all the hearings, as you can see here. I can access them based on specific filters by just clicking on the advanced. I can access uh, uh, all the hearings for the current week, for the current months, and the last matter hearing as well. All the reports in the system can be exported. So this specific report can be exported to Excel, as you can see here. So this is the first report related to the hearing. Also, I have another option in the system where I can, if I go back to the reports, I'll have the real hearing role session per, per court, where I can access all the hearings in the system related to a specific court or uh, circuit. As you can see here, in total, I have two uh, hearings related to the court London, as an example. And I can as well, but from the advanced search filter by specific hearing date, by specific type, court type, region, and so on and so forth. The third report available related to the hearings is the hearing pending updates. So whenever you add any hearing to your system, and uh, as you can see here, the hearing uh, um, uh, it, on the specific uh, report, I can access all the hearings that are pending updates. So as you can see here, this specific report, so it uh, was today, and this, this, this 
this is not updated yet so i can access it automatically from the specific report based on specific criteria so i can create the criteria from the settings here of the report if i click on the settings i can uh, include here in the filter the summary the reason of postponement and the postpone until date and time i can exclude specific status Let's say I would like to exclude the, uh, the uh, cases closed and so on and so forth. And for, from this specific report, I can automatically from there, of course, export this report to PDF and we'd like to update a specific hearing. You just need to click on the hearing date. It will redirect you automatically to the edit hearing page where you can postpone it. If it's judged, uh, include the judgment details and then include also the summary by lawyer if need. Last but not least, you can from your dashboard, if you'd like to access your hearings for today or specific hearings, I can from the dashboard here, if I click on my dashboard, as you can see here, I can access my meetings for today and I have two hearings in my calendar. Also, I'll have a filter here. I have a widget related to the hearings where I can access all my hearing for the last week, for the current week, for today, for the current month, and all the past hearings that are pending updates as well from the dashboard automatically. So in the meantime, of course, you can automatically from the system, if you have any question, you can uh, uh, automatically from the system, you have the chat icon. You can uh, uh, open a live chat with one of our agents. So our support team is always available to support you. Also, we have uh, some learning materials. So you can visit our uh, knowledge base and our YouTube channel. And this can be... Uh, uh, accessible automatically by just clicking here on the links, the knowledge base or the YouTube channels automatically from the chat icon. Also, you have the option automatically from the system to click on the uh, icon here if you'd like to erase a support ticket. Let's say you have a question or you have uh, uh, an improvement that you'd like to suggest to our team. Uh, or you would like to report a bug. So this can be raised automatically from the system uh, if needed. I think that we don't have any uh, question for uh, today's webinar. Again, I want to thank you all for taking time out uh, for, of your busy schedule to be here today in our webinar. Thank you for your time and see you in the next webinars as well.